Adonai uh, from the uh, Phoenician point of view for the tribe of Dan. Now if you you will no doubt you will no doubt that Adonai or Adonis too is the son once you consider the beliefs of the Assyrians who once had a vigorous cult of Venus uh, Aphakitis and Adonis now maintained by the Phoenicians for the physical scientists pay cult to the Earth's upper hemisphere, the part we inhabit under the name of Venus, while they call the lower hemisphere, hemisphere Prosperina. Among the Assyrians or Phoenicians, then the goddess is brought, is brought in grieving because the sun is making its annual progress through the twelve signs in sequence. Uh, enters the lower hemisphere too. Six of the zodiac signs being considered upper signs, six of them lower. And when he is among the lower signs and therefore makes the days shorter, uh, the goddess is believed to mourn as though the sun has been for a time snatched away by death and is being kept by Prosperina, who I have said is the divinity of the earth's lower zone and the people who dwell there. They believe that Adonis or Adonai is again restored to Venus when the sun overcomes the six lower signs and begins to illuminate our zone's hemisphere with lengthening days. They say however that Adonai or Adonis was killed by a boar being shaggy and rough delights in places that are damp, muddy and covered with frost and it forages for acorns, the, quint the quintessential pro produce of winter. Winter then is a sense a wound inflicted on the sun since it robs us of light and heat and loss of deadly to living things. On Mount Lebanon we fashion an image of Venus with veal head sad expression resting her face on her left hand behind her veil. Her tears flow, they believe, when people look upon her. Beyond the fact that it presents a grieving goddess, as I said, this image also represents the earth in winter, when, it, when it's veiled by clouds, bereft of the sun and paralyzed, when the springs that are uh, as it were, the earth's eyes flow more copiously, and when the fields in, until unadorned are the picture of the depression. But when the sun had emerged from the lower regions of the earth, past the boundary of the vernal equinox that makes the days longer, then Venus is glad and fair. The ploughed fields grow green with crops the meadows with grasses and the trees with leaves. That is why our ancestors dedicated April to Venus or Astati. So, um, so in this brief uh, extract, the Roman uh, Latin uh, poet uh, Macrovius gives us an insight to what really what the, uh, the Phoenicians or the tribe of Dan believed about Adonai and Astati, or Venus. <sighs> Macrovius, and this is from his great book, the Saturnalia, Saturnalia. 